Gay Plant Lovers Ever wondered how some plants seem to magically create new life without the usual birds and the bees scenario? Get ready to have your botanical minds blown because today, we are diving into the fascinating world of Apomixis Apomixis, the seedless secret Imagine a plant that can have babies without needing a partner. That's essentially what apomixis is. It's a clever form of asexual reproduction where seeds develop without the fusion of sperm and egg. Think of it as a botanical magic trick where the offspring are perfect genetic copies clones of the parent plant. Apomixis, asexual seed production. No fertilization needed. Genetic clones. Why is apomixis so important? The plant's superpowers. But why would plants evolve this sneaky reproductive strategy? Well, apomixis gives them some incredible superpowers. Superpower number one, pollinator independence. No bees buzzing around? No problem. Apomictic plants can reproduce even when pollinators are scarce or even gone. Superpower number two, energy efficiency. Sexual reproduction can be energetically costly. Apomixis helps plants save precious resources by skipping the complex dance of meiosis and avoiding the production of potentially unviable offspring. Superpower number 3. Male energy conservation, in some cases. Some apomictic plants can even ditch the energy-intensive process of pollen production. Why apomixis matters? Pollinator independence. Energy savings. Male energy conservation. Dive deeper. Types of apomixis, the different flavors. Now, let's get into the nitty gritty. Apomixis isn't a one size fits all phenomenon. There are different ways plants can pull off this amazing feat. First up, we have recurrent apomixis, where the embryo develops from a diploid cell within or around the embryo sac. This means the offspring have the same chromosome number as the mother true clones. Think of dandelions. Then there's non-recurrent apomixis, a rarer type where the embryo develops from a haploid cell, resulting in a haploid offspring. These plants are usually sterile, making it more of a genetic curiosity, like in some solnum species. Next, we have adventitious embryony, also known as nucellar embryony. Here, embryos sprout directly from cells outside the embryo sac, like the nucellus or integuments. You often see this in citrus and mangoes, Sometimes you get multiple seedlings from one seed. Finally, we have vegetative apomixis, where the plant produces vegetative buds or bulbils instead of flowers. These little plantlets can then detach and grow into new individuals. Onions and some grasses do this. Advantages of apomixis, the plant's winning strategy. So, what are the perks of being an apomictic plant? They get some serious advantages in the plant kingdom. Advantage number one, guaranteed reproduction. In tough environments where pollinators are unreliable, apomixis ensures the plant can still reproduce successfully. Advantage number two, energy efficiency. By skipping the complexities of sexual reproduction, plants save valuable energy that can be used for growth and survival. Advantage number three, no pollen needed, in some cases. 
Some apomictic plants can even avoid the energy investment in producing pollen. Disadvantages of apomixis, the downside of cloning. However, it's not all sunshine and seedless fruits. Apomixis also has its drawbacks. Disadvantage number one, accumulation of harmful mutations. Since the offspring are clones, any harmful genetic mutations in the parent plant will be passed down directly, potentially weakening the entire lineage. Disadvantage number two, limited adaptability. A lack of genetic diversity means apomictic populations might struggle to adapt to changing environmental conditions or new diseases. They are often restricted to specific ecological niches. On-screen text Poll question All right, plant enthusiasts, time for a quick check. Which of the following is a key advantage of apomixes? On-screen options A. Increased genetic diversity B. Guaranteed reproduction in the absence of pollinators C. Production of genetically diverse offspring D. Increased adaptability to changing environments Pause the video and let me know your answer in the comments below. I'll reveal the correct answer in the outro. So, there you have it. Apomixis is a fascinating and important reproductive strategy in the plant kingdom, offering both advantages and disadvantages. Understanding this process has significant implications, especially in agriculture, where harnessing apomixis could lead to the development of stable, high-yielding, and disease-resistant crops. Apomixis, a key to plant efficiency. Potential in agriculture. Did you get the poll question right? The answer is B. Thanks for joining me on this seedless adventure. If you enjoyed learning about apomixis, Make sure to like this video, subscribe for more plantastic content, and let me know in the comments what other botanical mysteries you'd like me to explore. Until next time, keep growing. If you liked it please like, share and subscribe.